Hello and welcome to Rajshree Food. Today we are making a quick and easy stir fry recipe, butter garlic broccoli. I'm going to start with a little bit of oil in a very hot pan. Around one teaspoon should be enough. This is just to make sure that our butter doesn't burn very quickly as soon as we add it to the pan. I'm adding one tablespoon of butter. You can use as much or as little as you like. Once the butter melts, I'm going to add in some cloves of garlic. I'm using about five to six cloves. We're going to cook the garlic till the rawness goes away. You'll be able to smell it very easily. The garlic has a little bit of color and it smells divine right now. I'm going to add in some sliced onions. I'm using one sliced onion, and I'm just going to sauté this for 30 to 40 seconds. I just want them to become soft. And to speed up the process, I'm going to add a pinch of salt. I have used salted butter in the recipe, so I'm being very careful as to how much salt I add. Now the onions have softened a little, it's time to add in our broccoli. This is about 200 grams of broccoli florets. When it comes to broccoli, the most common question I get is how to make it tastier. Well, this recipe is super simple and you can make it within a few minutes, so you can definitely try this out. I'm going to add a pinch of salt again just to make sure the broccoli is nicely salted and seasoned. I'm just going to mix it around and let it cook on medium flame till it softens. Another way to make sure that your broccoli tastes good and retains its texture is to make sure it is cooked properly. So now I'm going to add in a splash of water. It's nice and neon green at the moment. So I know it is halfway done. With a splash of water, the cooking process will speed up and it will make sure that it retains its crunch while cooking it through the center. Another way to make your broccoli more appealing is to make it look better. So if you retain the green color, the vibrant color, you feel like eating it a lot more. So make sure you're cooking it in an open pan without covering to retain its color. You'll know that your broccoli is done when the stalks from the center are no longer white in color. To add a little bit of heat, I'm going to add in some chili flakes. Stir it around for 10 to 20 seconds and you have an appetizer ready. You can serve it as it is if you're planning to serve this as an appetizer. But I'm going to turn this into a saucy mixture so that I can have it with either rice or noodles. So I'm going to add in a little bit of corn flour along with some water, making a quick slurry here. Make sure there are no lumps from the corn flour and add it to the center of your pan and quickly mix it. I'm going to add in a little more water. And we let the sauce thicken as we stir it around. You can adjust the consistency of the sauce by adding a little more water if you like. Once the sauce turns transparent, your butter garlic broccoli will be ready to serve. So next time you're looking for a quick and simple recipe, definitely give this one a try. This is Chef Fumika signing off from Rajshree Food.